Hey guys and welcome back for another flashlight review. It's been a while since I reviewed the last Sofian light but uh, they brought out really nice interesting flashlight again so I really enjoy reviewing this one. It's the IF30 as you can see with a maximum output of uh, 12,000 lumen, maximum beam distance of 685 meters, so it's a really bright and long uh, range flashlight. It has USB-C charging, can also be used as a power bank, IP68 rated, comes in a nice cardboard box, as you can see already a lot of information printed on the back. It's 263 grams without the battery, the size 60 2.4 millimeters in diameter and 129 millimeters in length. It's powered by a 32650 battery, not a common battery type, but uh, it has a lot of uh, uh, milliamps, so will give us a long uh, runtime. You have floodlight, spotlight, and the two lights combined, so that's pretty nice. And uh, yeah. The different output modes that you can see. I will measure it in my Ulbricht ball and tell you all the output modes when we are outside for the beam shots. So it has a little magnet uh, box. We have the manual. We have the big nice flashlight. We have a lanyard. And we have a USB-C to USB charging cable. I took already out the battery protection, but I will unscrew the battery tube anyways or the tail cap to show you. There's no magnet in the tail. You can also unscrew the tail cap. So we have a spring in the back. As you can see the threads run really nice and smooth. The 32650 battery with 6500 milliamp, so that's quite a lot of milliamps. And then we have brass plate in the head, so you can use button or flat top batteries with this light. It's the first light I have with this battery type. Oh, nice engravings. We have a nice rotary switch. As you can see, the light turns green now because it will lock automatically if you don't use it for 30 seconds or so. Then you have to quickly turn the uh, knob around. Long press will activate the light. Short press on and off, as you can see. If you keep the button pushed, it will switch to spot and then spot and float combined. By turning to the left, it will dim down. Turning to the right, it will dim up. So pretty bright, as you can see. Double click goes to turbo, so that's nice. And a long press turns on the lowest mode of the spot. Or the last used mode. As you can see, long press turns on the flood mode, so that's pretty nice. Double click will get us to instant turbo in the last used mode, so it has quite an intelligent uh, user interface with memory. We have a nice tight USB-C cover here for the charging port. If you charge the light, the indicator LED in the switch will blink red and once it's fully charged it will turn into solid green, so that's pretty nice. And I will now check with you guys the charging or power bank function of the flashlight. So I got another flashlight here also from Sofian and uh, you just plug the device in that you want to charge. 
the battery stay or the LED stays off on the IF30 uh, as soon as it's uh, starting to blink red it's time to uh, stop charging as uh, battery is running low. So you can see the green light is on so it means it's charging. So that's pretty cool that you have the power bank function as well so you can charge your phone on the go if you are running low on battery juice. Another thing that I forgot to tell you is that there is a, a strobe uh, mode that uh, you need to triple click from any state. You of course have to first unlock it because it locks after 15 seconds. And then one, two, three, and then we're in the strobe. By a long press you can switch uh, which strobe you want. If you want the strobe uh, of the flot, the spot or everything combined. So that's pretty nice. It has also a built-in battery indicator while using the light. So now you can see it's green, then it starts flashing red and when it's, once it's uh, solid red you really have to change the battery because it's uh, dropping down about 2.8 uh, volts. It has also a smart temperature regulation so as soon as the light reaches 55 uh, degrees it will start dimming down to prevent the light from overheating. That's pretty much everything that is to say about this light. Uh, there's not uh, anything else uh, regarding the LEDs. They don't make any specifications which LEDs have been used. That's a shame. I can't tell which LEDs they are. Maybe you guys know it and you can put it in the comment section. Otherwise, I will now fully charge up the light, measure it in my Obrich ball and head into the forest. So we are outside in the forest now with the Sofian IF30 in the flood mode, in the lowest mode, which is indicated with 30 lumen. I measured 20. For me, it could be even lower, especially for the floodlight. It would be nice to have a real moon mode. You can then steplessly dim it up, up to the 12,000 lumen they indicate, or just double click to go to turbo. Um, I only measured 8000 lumen, so that's a bit disappointing that we don't reach the 12000 lumen. It gets quite hot and uh, after only 3 minutes it dims down to 770 lumen, so it dims down quite fast. Well, it produces a lot of heat, so that's normal. I will now switch to the spot mode, which has a really nice beam distance. This is the turbo. This is the low mode, which is indicated with 10 lumen. I measured 5.3, so here we have a somehow moon mode, not a real moon mode, but still okay. And then we have the turbo mode, which is indicated with 2500 lumen. I only measured 1500 lumen. Also here, after about 3 minutes, it will dim down to about 150 lumen. I will now go to the flood and spot mode combined which in the lowest mode is indicated with 40 lumen which I measured with around 20 lumen so as you can see you have nice flood light in the front of you and then the spot that goes quite far if I dim or if I ramp all the way up to the 12,000 lumen mode which you also can activate with double click. You can see it's about 8500 lumen. Also a bit sad that we don't reach the maximum output over here. After three minutes it dims down to 770 lumen like in the flood mode. So I will walk through the image so that you can see what the beam pattern looks like. We'll switch over to the normal flood mode, switch to the spot mode. So overall I really like the light. Uh, it's a bit of a shame that it doesn't keep up with the indicated lumen. I didn't have another battery to test if it's related to the battery or if it's really the uh, flashlight that does not provide us with more light. I will go to flood and spot combined. 
It's a really usable beam, really nice. I like the light with the rotary switch. The light color is around 5,700 Kelvin, maybe a bit cooler, but overall a nice color without a lot of tint. I will switch the position now to the open field so that you can see what it looks like when we have a bit more space uh, and a bit more beam distance. So we are in the field now with flood and spot combined in the highest output mode. So you can see we have a really nice beam distance illuminating also the front. So that's really nice if you need to have the light as a search and rescue flashlight. Uh, gives you everything you need. I will now only put the flood mode on, only the spot mode. So really nice and the two combined. We'll walk a bit around so that you can get a better view of the spot. Again, only the flood mode, only the spot mode. So really nice. So Sofin did a really good job here. Maybe in a future version they can try to get uh, the lumen outputs a bit more accurate. But for the rest, I'm a big fan of the light. Really nice user interface, good build quality. As always, I'm a big fan of Sofin. So I hope in the video I answered all the questions that could possibly be still open about this light. If not, please make sure to put them in the comment section. And as always, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel and leave a thumbs up. See you soon, guys. Bye bye.